morning. So hi, this is Cathy from Wellspring Clinic. So today I want to introduce five elements. So this is the fundamental of uh, TCM theory, but it's originally come from the Chinese philosophy. So they thinking all the earth, all the things on the earth could uh, divide it into these five elements. So everything could belong to or put into these five elements. So what it is, is wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So almost everything on earth could put into these five. And then the Chinese medicine, we use it. So we put all those things all related to, for example, the liver, we put to the wood, heart, fire, spring to earth, lung to metal, and kidney to water. So we are thinking all those five elements and these five organs, they are related. So like a liver, it's more closer to the wood. It's functioning more like wood. It's growing and smoothly, right? And the heart, like the fire, give you energy, right? And the spring, so earth. So spring, like we do all the digest, absorb the food here. So like the earth could uh, endure everything, could produce everything, right? On oh. earth. Like everybody know, has so many small box for the whole lung, right, two sides. So the metal, and when you, when you like do this, they're very close to metal. So the sound, they breathe in, breathe out, that sound make like a metal. And the water, we think a kidney belongs to water, so that also makes sense too, right now even. So all those exist for a long time in China. And then that's the organ. So the spring, the natural season, so spring is wood, and then summer is fire, and then the later summer, so after summer is earth, and then the autumn, metal, and then winter is water. So they all related, so water, kidney, winter, they related, and these two. So this is season. Now we we'll talk about our organ, liver, heart, spring, lung, kidney, and then you see this is our parts, our body. So we are thinking the eye, liver, wood, they all related, so this eye. So if your vision had a problem, we must pay more attention to the liver. And then this is tongue. To fire, to heart. If you had a, uh, you know, your tongue, like you have the pen, like the cranker, saw cranker, this is for your heart. And fire. And then this mouth. If your mouth had some problem, we're thinking related to the spring, ready to the earth and then the skin skin related to the lung so if you have skin problem we maybe should pay attention to the lung and then here the ear the ear to your kidney so for example in China we have a lot of massage to your ear so we massage the ear it could tonic your kidney it's a help your kidney function so that's for the organs and also different parts of our body that uh, relate to these five elements. Now we'll talk about the emotion. So like angry, belong to here, to liver. They are related. Joyful, to the heart. Always thinking, always thinking too much, then to the spleen, could affect your spleen function if you're thinking too much. Then your digest will have some problem. So you probably know if you're under stress, you're thinking too much, you usually have no appetite, right? And then like this, like you grieve or sadness or low mood that could affect your lung function. And then, and, oh, this is not angry. Uh, this is supposed to be the, uh, the fear. So if you always fear something, frightened, So fear is to the kidney.
So this is a different emotion correlated to different organs. On the other hand, if your liver, for example, if your liver had some problem, make you easy to lose your temper, very angry, always angry. So if your lung had a problem, maybe you're easy to, you know, to low mood, sadness, right? And if your kidney not strong, maybe it's easier for you to have fear or always anxiety or worry too much. What happened, right? So worried, feared, so this is related. And if your heart is very strong, probably sometimes you're over joyful. Over joyful also not good. If you're always too over joyful, that could disturb the whole circulation. So all those five elements, they all related to each other. So we try to be balanced, not too angry, for example, or not too overthinking, not too overjoyful, not too sadness always, and not too fear. So try to balance. So here also we talk about here, so different taste of the food could go to different organ, sour to liver. So if you want to keep your liver function normal, for example, lemon juice with honey is very good for your liver, right? And uh, hard to the bitter. So sometimes you cannot just eat one flavor. You should eat some bitter. That's good for your heart. And then sweet. So probably now everybody eats too much sweet. Everything they put sugar in it. So sweet go to your spleen. So sometimes maybe if your spleen not strong enough or had some problem, you really craving for sweet stuff so these are related right and then the lung spicy so spicy food seems to go to your lung and then kidney salty salty food go to your kidney but also remember if you eat too much salty food that could damage your kidney the one thing everybody knows is a high blood pressure right so high blood pressure, kidneys, we all know they are related to each other. So here, the organ, the emotion, the season, and then the different parts of your uh, body. Then we'll talk about this uh, direction. So, Wood or liver or spring, eye, sour, angry, they all to the east side. So east side belong to wood. East side, east direction. And then this is south, fire, heart. And then earth, spring, is to the middle side. And then metal, lung, go to the west side. And then kidney, or water, or those go to north side. For example, if at your house, uh, for the whole family, it seems always had a stomach problem, uh, not good to digest. Seems everybody live in the same house. Then you maybe could pay attention whether in the middle side of your house, probably maybe too much garbage there, a lot of clutter there. So if, if you declutter the middle part of your house, probably could uh, help your digestive system, your whole family. So these are related, right? So now, last thing we'll talk about is this, uh, you know, our tissues, the body. So liver, wood, spring, all this, related to tendon. So if you have tendon, you spring your feet, probably you should pay attention to liver, and maybe eat more sour food, for example. And then fire is to your vessel. So probably this could understand. So if your blood, for example, we have so many cardiovascular disease, that's our vessel problem, right? And this is the heart. See, vessel and heart, they're related. And the muscle to the spleen, to the earth. So now people try to lose weight. So one method to lose weight is to make your muscle strong. How to make muscle strong? To tonic your spleen. If your spleen, your digest is very good, your muscle will be strong, then you could reduce the weight because the muscle 
it's give you the energy, right? Could burn your calorie if you have strong muscle. It's not you eat low calorie, it's not help that much. You could eat high calorie, even those fat burning food. That could help your muscle build up and then could help your weight control. And here, so metal lung to the nose. This muscle, oh no, to the skin. So sorry. So to the skin. So if your skin had a problem, always had a rash or hives, maybe you should pay attention to the lung to make sure your lung function normally. How to do that? For example, try to control your motion. Maybe try to eat more of these spicy foods. And uh, maybe try to pay attention to your west side, west direction of your room. Do they have something too much clot there? So this one, so skin. And then water, kidney to your bone. So the bone, so if you, have the, if you want to make your bone strong, you have to make your kidney strong. Kidney strong, your bone will strong. So we do a lot of squat, for example. So to make your bone strong, then your kidney will be good. So they are related. This and the nose. Here, let now for the autumn. Maybe we could talk more about this metal, autumn, lung, nose, skin, sadness, spicy, west. So it's all to the metal, to the autumn. So for the autumn, what we should do, maybe pay more attention to the lung. Lung really afraid is the cold, coldness. The lung, our lung organs are so fragile. They don't like cold, so they want warm. So try to keep your warm. How to do that? Drink warm water, not anything right from the fridge. That could make your not runny nose could make your skin better, right? So this is all for the autumn, how to make yourself. And also here, so try to, you know, try, try to make your mood you know, more stable, so this. And then we forgot to, to see the color. So for the wood, liver, spring, eye, sour, the color is the green color. Green, wood, that makes sense, right? All the wood is green. And the fire, everybody know. What a color of the fire? Red. Red, right? Yes, it's a red. Fire, red. What a earth color? Mm. Orange, right? Or yellow. Orange or yellow is the same. So this color. And then what a lung? Metal, white. Water, kidney, nose, bone, all those, what color? Black. So this different color, what do they tell us? We still talk about the autumn, because now it's the autumn season. So white belong to metal, to autumn, to lung, to skin, to nose, to this, all that. We try to maybe wear more white stuff, white scarf, white jacket. And they eat more food that white color. For example, turnip, pear, this all white color, right? Those will tonic your lung. Make you healthy as much as you can, right? And then earth. So earth, if our digestive problem, maybe we should try to eat more orange, yellow starch kind of food. Like pumpkin, like the carrot, uh, like the sweet potato, for example, this all go to your earth, go to your spring. So fire, heart, red color, cherry, cherry is so good for your heart. And now they, re they find out the cherry actually could reduce the cholesterol, especially reduce the LDL. So red, go to your heart, right? So that's all, and some relationship. And then green, to wood, to eye. Probably everybody know 
if your vision had a problem, always ask you to eat a lot of green stuff, right? They have anthocyanin, they had a routine, they have so many very nutrition food that our vision need. So green, we always said green go to the wood, go to the liver, go to the eye. So eat of green stuff is definitely good for your vision health. So now we say these are five elements. Next time we'll talk about their relationship between each other. For example, this here, this to here, this produce, wood produce fire. Does that make sense? Right? And the fire produces earth. When all the fire distinguish, they all change to earth to ash. And earth to metal. So all the metal come from earth, seems we find out. And then metal finally change to water. And water could help you grow the wood. So this is a produce. So this produce this, produce this, produce this, produce this, produce this. So what does this tell us, this relationship? For example, if my heart is quite weak, I had a palpitation, you know, my heart, I have no energy, my heart. What I should do? Of course, I could tonic the fire to be more joyful, eat more bitter food, and uh, towards the south, pay more attention to the south direction, and uh, wear red all the time, and uh, eat a lot of red, that red colorful. What other thing we can do? We can make the wood strong. If our wood is strong, then the fire will be okay. So for example, we also could try to eat more sour, and then green. So this could help the fire, could help the heart. There's the same thing, so fire to the earth, earth to metal, metal to water, water to wood, right? So for example, now the autumn season. So we should pay more attention to this autumn, to this metal element. At the same time, we also could do something for the earth. So this could help it. So now, the modern scientific research proves that. For example, they find out if your digest messed up, if your gut system messed up, it's probably very easy to have the sadness, low mood, or depression, right? We, we, we find out. For example, this maybe 90% of serotonin that's released from our gut system from here. So here, produce here. So this could make this strong. And now it makes sense more because we find out the gut system is so important. We call it second brain. And so many uh, immune system also could come from here. So if we stress our earth, our spring, our digest system could help so much things, at least help our emotion. So talk here, maybe I could introduce these two product uh, idea. Maybe everybody know probiotics. Everybody know probiotics, right? So try to eat uh, uh, yogurt, they put different uh, probiotics, or a lot of fermented food. So each nationality had their own specific uh, fermented food, no matter Asia or Europe, right? So probiotic, this is a kind of help our gut, this uh, good bacteria to grow. But another thing maybe we didn't pay more attention, or we should pay more attention is prebiotics. So prebiotics, what it is? Prebiotics is kind of undigestible fiber. Your body cannot absorb, but our gut, the last part of our gut, like a colon, they definitely, all those bacteria, they need this one. If you, our body don't give them this one, all those good bacteria at your colon area, they will starve you. will have no food. Even you eat a lot of probiotic, but could you imagine 
we eat this from here, through here, through here, and to here. How much left? This active bacteria, especially by here, right? So strong acid. I don't know how much left here. But this one, from here, from here, even from here, small intest in, in, uh, intestine, they cannot absorb. So they will go to the large intestine, go to the colon area. Those areas, most bacteria, they live there. They are, we have trillions of bacteria live with our body. So because we talk about the spring, digest, earth, then we talk about autumn, and then we talk about this no uh, motion, then we talk about here. So next time, maybe we'll give more detail about what food have these or these, and then what's their, we, what we, how could we pay attention to this and make it all balanced? Five elements.